Woo! Happy Father's Day and welcome to the vlog. If you're joining in for the first time, please consider subscribing. We are here at the Adult Toy Store. I got a couple things to return. Wish I would have thought about it was Father's Day. It slipped my mind. I probably would have went over and spent the day with my dad. Probably what I should have done instead of staying home, but hate to say it, uh, kind of snuck up on me, but uh, let's return this and do some shopping. Wow, they sell Craftsman at Lowe's now. Not too bad, not too much damage. Got some blinds for uh, Production Central 2.0. Try to keep some of that heat out because it's a front window. Got a ballast for the lights and more storage. Here at the second toy store of the day. All right. Cool is that they got like a little scenery set up so you can test out the cameras and like zoom in on buildings and things. All right, just got home from Best Buy and my lady is out walking the puppy and we have found them. I found my baby. How was your day? It was okay. I'm tired. Working. I'm on a vacation. Yes, honeymoon soon. Subscribe. Get to watch our glorious honeymoon. It is going to be fantastic. But we're going to go walk the dog. No matter where we go, this dog's always got to find a stick and carry it home. One, two, three sticks she brought home. Making a quick pick pit stop to get something nice for my wifey. You don't act like that all the time. You have six cars. Put that shit away. I just don't understand the point of having six cars and driving to a nice restaurant and an old Buick. Just because insurance won't cover it because somebody did not call. 24 hours in advance so now you get my point why I'm frustrated with that every single time that that car right there stays in the garage while we drive in the old hoopty to a nice restaurant because somebody forgot a person forgot to call his insurance number hop in hop in come on Let's go. Good 
Logan's Roadhouse for dinner, and I get to take this beautiful woman as my guest. She's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not. They're gonna say, what the fuck? She's always buying it. Well, back at Best Buy, we gotta return this modem router. Over two hours of tech support, we could not get it to work. Net gear, major fail. Guess where we're at? Walmart, of course. Hey, where else will we be? Puppy treats. Puppy treats. Puppy treats. For a German Shepherd. Oh yeah, mine don't get none. They do. I share. Good Tuesday, June 19th. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Today is a special treat for L to the W because today we are driving. The 50th Camaro. She's a little dirty from sitting. But oh my god, I miss this car. It's like my bud Top Hat Plus said his car was in the shop for a while and he didn't get to drive his baby for a while. Oh, he sure do miss driving this thing. It's really great to be back in this car. Okay, so I get asked the question a lot why do I have so many cars? And really, the biggest reason is I don't want to get tired of them. I used to go through cars left and right. I just when you drive it every day, at least to me, I got bored and tired of it. So if I have multiple cars and I don't drive one for you know a specific amount of time and I get in it, it's exciting. It's like a whole new car. It's like I was mentioning before, my buddy Top Hat Plus. He's a Camaro YouTuber. Check his channel out. Um, you know his car was in the shop for a while. He didn't have it for a month or more and. You know, it was like he was saying in his video, he got back in it, and it was like exciting, everything that he missed about the car. And that's kind of like me. I, will, I won't get tired, definitely never get tired of the Camaro, because I don't drive it every day. Even the GTL, I've owned it 13 years, I don't get tired of it, because I don't drive it very often, so. And then too, you know, I keep the miles off, and I keep these cars pristine. So like my GTO, got 14,000 miles on it, and she still looks showroom sharp, you know, so. That, that's my my reasoning, you know, for having so many cars. Uh, you know, who knows? I might trade some in and uh, start rolling some fresh. Hopefully, maybe the channel will grow and I can afford some, uh, add more cars to the stable. Who knows? Just have to subscribe and find out. Anyhow, uh, I'm on my way home. It is Friday, TGIF, June the 22nd, and coming to you from the lovely Chevy SS. What a beautiful vehicle to wrap up the week after driving the ever so incredible Camaro for three days. It has been a great automotive week for me, it's driving all these great cars. <laughs> Anyhow, time to wrap up the vlog. I'm on my way home. I'm going to work on this and hopefully get it posted tonight. I'm going to try to get my vlogs posted Friday nights. Uh, that's my game plan. If I get enough stuff on the weekend, I might do a Monday vlog. But like I said, you know, I'm still tweaking and, and doing stuff, so bear with me. Anyhow, uh, you know, that's totally unrelated to anything car, but I found this uh, one video. This is a YouTuber, Swoop. Swoop. She had a channel with over 600,000 subscribers. And this whole mess with YouTube, her channel pretty much just got... It's there, but it never got recommended. Nobody got alerted to her videos. It started to go down, and she started a whole new channel. Anyway, she brought up something about uh, YouTubers helping YouTubers out. Man, it's a great idea. So, uh, I just want to shout out to a couple of uh, people I like watching. So, if you're into, like, the Chevy SS, check out uh, TJ Hulk SS. He's got a uh, cool-looking green SS Whipple Supercharged lowered and some wheels and all kinds of stuff and then uh, check out uh, Red SS he's got a pretty interesting channel too seems like a super cool guy check him out give him a little love if you're into Camaros man check out my boy Top Hat Plus and uh, check out not such a small channel but check out uh, Lethal Camaro I mean if you're into Camaros and you don't know Lethal 
uh, I don't know where you've been, but I'm going to give him a shout out anyhow. So if you don't know the channel, check him out. He's like the authority on Camaros. There, anything new and coming out, I don't know how he gets all this stuff, but he knows and has all the specs and everything coming out. Does a good job of uh, letting us know what's going on in the Camaro world. Plus, he's got, I think, every mod in the world you could think of for a 6th gen Camaro. So, check him out. Uh, YouTubers up and YouTubers out. So, anyhow, appreciate the support. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up for me. No cost or obligation involved in either one. Just uh, help another small YouTuber out. Let's uh, grow this channel. Like, shares, comments, greatly appreciated, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.